All right, guys, our uh, Rhino Rack backbone system uh, for the JL finally arrived, and uh, we're going to open it up and uh, get it installed. All right, so once you open the box, you get a nice uh, kind of template of how to lay everything out so you have all the pieces and parts uh, the way they're supposed to go. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of how it's all set up. And they make it so that you know exactly what needs to go where. And everything fits. So that's kind of what it looks like all together. All right, so the first step is to uh, take the, um, the tool kit that you got from Jeep. It comes with your ratchet and a 50 millimeter torps. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take the bolts out of the factory hardtop. They are these bolts right there. All right, so these are the three bolts. We're gonna set them aside because we're gonna reuse them when we install the other side, when we install the side pieces. All right guys, so here is the rack, uh, the backbone piece put in. So I have the insulation in, so I cut two uh, little reliefs um, so that this bracket fits nice and tight up against um, that and gets pulled tight up against the roof. So that's something you're going to have to do if uh, you decide if you have the insulation package in there. Instead of taking it out, I just cut some on either side. Not the cleanest thing, but it works. All right, so uh, this is the hard part, of course, is uh, drilling holes in uh, your Jeep's top. So um, the instructions call to drill from the inside out. Uh, with a 5 16 inch drill bit and so we'll do that just for the back two legs All right, you can see where those back brackets line perfectly up with the holes On both sides, so we'll put some sealing in there and then put the screws in all right The next step is to now that we got the back one complete is to take that a measuring bar that they give you and that gives you the perfect spacing to put the next block in and then you use the little key they give you and it's got two pieces of six and a half millimeter and 11 millimeter spacer and that is supposed to slide right up underneath there and then that gives you um, the spacing that you need to drill the holes and that should match perfectly uh, with the bracket so we're going to get to that but we use these drill guides. Let's see, there we go. Drill guide, so it goes right there into that recess. And then you, that's the quarter inch drill bit. And then you step it out um, uh, once you get those holes drilled. So. All right, we got the back one, the middle one installed, and now we're doing the front one. Again, it's set, you turn the key up to the 11 millimeter side, you flip the spacer around, and then these are your hose glot, your uh, drill guides. So the quarter inch first, then you drill a half inch and then these drop down into the inside. You drill another quarter inch and then you drill the half inch all the way through for the bolts. So uh, we'll get to it. All right guys, uh, we got everything installed. The front one bolts down through the roll bar and then this one and this one all uh, go to the backbone system. So. There you can see the six of them. Then on the inside, you can see the backbone. Tucks nice up in there. So that basically wraps it up. Uh, the sealant that I used um, is Cicaflex 291. Um, as you can see in the, the video, um, I pulled a white tube instead of a black tube when I was doing it, but um, it is what it is. So um, it works to keep the water out, seals against the fiberglass real well, but it's removable at the same time. So um, the uh, Ryan Rack backbow system, it took me about two and a half hours to install by myself. And so pretty easy, pretty simple, functional. We'll get the roof racks on there and the rooftop tent uh, probably in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching. If you liked, 
what we're doing here. Uh, please share, like, subscribe. Have a good day.